Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Part 2 Transportation. In Part 1, I mentioned that human blood circulatory system consists of the heart and three types of blood vessels, arteries, capillaries, and veins. In this diagram, can you tell me where are they? Just ignore the black borderline for a moment. First, let us label the basic human heart correctly. On the left side of the human heart, the oxygenated blood enters through the pulmonary vein and exits through the outer. Meanwhile, for the right side of the human heart, the blood flows into the heart through vena cava and flows out from the heart through the pulmonary artery. How can we memorize all these functions in an easier way? Simply by using letter V and letter A. Letter V for pulmonary vein and vena cava. Letter A for alta. Letter A for pulmonary artery. Blood enters the heart through letter V. Blood exits out from the heart through letter A. The direction of the blood enters the heart is shown by these green lines up and down of this diagram. These green lines indicate the veins. Meanwhile, the pathway of the blood flows out from the heart is shown by these yellow lines. These yellow lines is referring to the arteries. Both veins and arteries are connected with capillaries. What is the function of the veins? To answer this, relate the veins to the letter V. The function of pulmonary vein and the function of the vena cava. So, the veins function first to transport oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Second, to transport the deoxygenated blood back to the heart from the whole body except the lungs. The function of the arteries please relate to the letter A, the outer and the pulmonary artery. So, the functions of the arteries are first, to transport oxygenated blood from the heart to the whole body except the lungs. Second, to transport deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lung. We have two types of system in this human blood circulatory system. The upper part is pulmonary circulatory system and the downwards one is the systemic circulatory system. Pulmonary circulatory system consists of a complete cycle that involving the heart pulmonary artery, the lung, and pulmonary vein.
Meanwhile, the second circulatory system, the systemic circulatory system is a second complete cycle that involves the body cell, the vein, the heart, and the artery. This is a table of comparison between artery, capillary, and veins. For artery, the obvious difference is it has thick muscular wall with a lot of elastic tissues that is very useful to withstand high blood pressure. Where can you find these arteries? Exactly, you can find these at the outer and at the pulmonary artery. At this point, pulse rate is detected. For vein, it has thin, less muscular, and less elastic wall to facilitate the blood flow under low blood pressure. We can find these veins at the pulmonary veins and vena cava. Finally, for capillary, it has the smallest size of the lumen to allow diffusion process for the exchange of gases, food, and waste products. You can search more about these three types of blood vessels differences in your textbook page. Do you ever notice that our own heart produces the lap dub sound? There are two types of condition in human heartbeat, diastole and systole. Let's look first at the diastole. Diastole is a condition where the dub sound is produced. What happens during the diastole condition? Semilunar valves are closed and both ventricles are in the relaxation mode. The blood pressure reading is called as diastolic. During the systole condition, the lap sound is produced when the bicuspid and tricuspid valves are both closed. Both ventricles are contracted. Systolic is the blood pressure reading in systole condition. By looking at this slide, we can easily remember what is actually happened during diastole and systole condition of someone's heartbeat. In diastole, the blood flow and fill the heart. Meanwhile, for systole condition, the blood flow out from the heart. Can you see that? The muscles at this condition is contracting. The knowledge about diastole and systole condition of human heart is very essential in getting the measurement of blood pressure. Blood pressure measurement is written as systolic pressure reading of a diastolic pressure reading in mmHg millimeters of mercury. Nowadays, the high blood pressure patient can simply use this digital sphygmo manometer to get their blood pressure reading at home. The normal blood pressure reading is 1 to 0 over 75 millimeters of mercury. The other techniques of measuring the parameters of body health rather than the blood pressure is the pulse rate. 
pulse is produced by the contraction and relaxation of the muscular artery wall. Here are a few factors that affect the pulse rate. First, gender. Female normally has higher pulse rate compared to the male because the size of the heart is much smaller. So, less blood is pumped for each heartbeat and needs to beat at higher rate than the males. Second factor, age. The elderly normally has higher pass rate compared to the young people. Third, body health or condition. Example, an expecting mother has higher pass rate because her heart needs to pump more blood to supply oxygen and nutrient for the fetus. And the final factor is the physical activity. The more vigorous the physical activity, the higher pass rate is produced.